Hey guys, it's John. Welcome back to KC Farms. The new pig barn is just about done. We're going to check it out today. Okay, guys, we talked about getting our pig farrowing barn finished and it is super close to being finished. So we are going to show you what we've got going on here we're super excited about it and we've got a bunch of litters coming up here soon so we're just going to check this out we've got some work to do um on the outside we aren't sure i was thinking about doing electric fence right now for fencing we're thinking about maybe doing permanent uh hog panels for the fencing uh, we haven't decided that we've got about two weeks until our first litter so we're gonna be working on what to do there um so there's three stalls on that side and around the back here we've got another three stalls there and we'll talk about what this is once we head inside there but we're super excited obviously so let's head inside and check it out So, cool things, we did a clear ridge cap, so we're gonna have some natural light in here, but we've also got electric, which you probably can't see too well right now, but at night, which is when we have a lot of litters, we do have electric in here. Big shout out to our friend Tyler, hooked us up with this KC Farm sign, and what better place to hang it than in our new barn. So thank you, Tyler, for that. But pretty simple um, setup. We've got 10 by 10 farrowing pens here. We still have to put some creeps inside. We're gonna put creeps in the opposite corners of the doors and put heat lamps down for the piglets. Um, all of these have obviously access to each of the pens, which will be easy for us to get in and out. Um, pigs have access to the outdoors. We're thinking about putting those clear plastic drapes down like you see in uh, coolers, large coolers and things, um, just mainly for winter time. We'll also have to put a little board so the piglets can't get out, but mamas can get out when they want to. But we've got three stalls down this side and they're all exactly the same. And then three along this opposite side. So we've got room for six farrowing areas. And this here is probably my favorite part, probably Jamie's too, although obviously she loves the pigs, but this is our future chicken brooding area. It's got its own light in here as well. And a place where we can uh, hook up heat lamps. I gotta do some work around the bottoms here so nothing can get in. And uh, then obviously Isaiah's getting the outside door, which is pretty tight. We might have to work on that, but once they're old enough and it's warm enough, we can let the chicks go outside as well. Got a little window on here, get a little ventilation if we need to, but this is awesome. We can start brooding chicks earlier and uh, we can have a nice warm spot for them. Yeah, right, no, it's tough to close. I'll help you out when we're done here. But anyway, super excited mainly to get the chickens out of the garage. Uh, I guess the only other thing, we left this area open. We can put pine shavings, pig feed, maybe wheelbarrows, shovels, rakes, anything we need to store out here. We kind of wanted another little storage area um, for any of our things that we aren't able to store inside right now. So that is the barn setup, um, kind of simple, but extremely gonna be extremely useful for us so we've actually got some chickens coming that i might be getting out here once i make sure it's predator proof obviously um, but we are super excited about it we have about two weeks before our first litter is on the ground so we are just in time we'll get those other things set up 
the little creeps, uh, the fencing on the outside, and we will be ready for pigs. But speaking of pigs, let's walk around and let's check out the girls that are pregnant. We've done a video a while back. You can check that here, the ones we paired up. But let's go see how they are progressing. And uh, like I said, two weeks and we'll have piglets in here. Let's go check them out. Okay guys, our first two pigs that will be having piglets first, our closest to the barn. You can see we're right over there. And our piglets, I'm sorry, our pigs, the first two that are due are right here. And there's the first one coming out, Millie. And we can definitely tell these girls are pregnant. We haven't seen all the breeding, so we're not 100% on all the dates, but we did see these two bred. And you can see Millie really starting to droop down there. It's gonna be her first litter. And there's Penny back there heading towards Isaiah. It's gonna be her second litter. And they are, in about two weeks, they're gonna be due. And the dad is obviously Kevin there. We've had questions of why we keep the boars in with the girls after they've been bred we just always have it's never been an issue uh we'll take the girls away once we head into the farming area and move kevin back with some other boars there so first two i believe what penny have nine sis yeah yep she had nine piglets the first time we kept two of hers one a borrow and one a future breeding boar they had a great litter and you can see she is getting real big so we're excited to see. We always talk about the coolest part about Cooney Coonies. You never really know what colors or patterns are coming out. And so two, our first two girls, that will be the first births in our new farrowing barn, Millie and Penny. Let's head around to another pen and check out some of our other pigs that are up with upcoming litters. Right, we're over here in our next pen and like I said we're not a hundred percent sure on dates um, Jamie's got them written down so she knows better than I do but uh, we're just keeping an eye on them and we try to get them at least a couple weeks into the farrowing area before their expected due dates but we're in here with Chubbs who else we got jelly bean and Josie jelly bean and Josie they're over here in the shade I might as well show these guys while we're here we moved the sheep back here they are doing well but there's big chubs this is going to be his first registered litters and he is one of our nicest boars he always lets the girls eat first and he's just always really nice with us he's one of our easiest pigs to roll over here and there he goes just a super nice big old boar there got him down but let's check out giant. gentle giant yeah so here's josephine and this is going to be the both of these pigs it will be their first litters and uh we're excited to see what they produce just a beautiful ginger and black gilt she'll be a sow once she has her piglets and then laying over here who's a lot bigger maybe farther along is jelly bean so she's doing really well all the pigs have been doing really well and uh first time mothers you always want to see how they're gonna do but they've got a nice little spot over here and i'm assuming these two are probably going to be next up as to who will deliver maybe not josephine she doesn't look as far along she may not have taken the first breeding but jelly bean definitely will be over in the farrowing barn soon and with her colorings we are excited to see what kind of piglet she will produce and obviously healthy is our number one choice so let's keep on moving along we've got uh what do we got two or three more pens we got well there's eight pregnant Guilt. So that means we got two more pens because we've already seen four girls. So let's keep on moving along and check out the other girls. All right, guys, we're headed across the farm 
to our next pen here. And uh, we've got Willow and Patches in here with Walter. And uh, they're down in here. Let's see where Patches, I think Patches is in the house. We'll check her out first. And both of these is gonna be their first litters. Where is she? Oh no, she's not in the house. There she is, she's down here with the other pigs. I didn't see her on the she's other side. <laughs> Yeah, so they've got this nice little waller spot they've got dug out here. Walter's hiding under a tree. You don't have to get up for us. Right here's Willow. Hey, Willow. And there we got patches up under all the branches. And like I said, this will be their first first litters as well. They're both getting nice and big and first litters for the dad, Walter here. So they'll be coming along probably next in line there behind uh, Josephine and uh, who's the other one? Jelly. Jelly Bean and Josephine. Yeah, good thing Brooklyn's here. I'd have forgot. So big Walt is the dad. Willow you can see she's really starting to sag or at least we can try and see that she's starting to sag there we go there's a good picture but uh they're next on the list ouch <laughs> he didn't even... i was just sitting on the fence and i got shocked in my butt so anyway and then patch is over there as well so now that i've had that shocking experience i'm gonna jump out here and let's head on over to our last pen of pregnant mamas. All right, guys, heading over to our last pen of pregnant sows, because they've already had litters. And I'm pretty sure Sassy is our oldest female on the farm. This will be her third litter, first with a different boar. She's had her first two litters with Kevin. And this litter, she is going to be with Mo down here on the end. That is Sassy right there. And Zelly, they look very similar. They've both had really nice litters in the past. Sassy is probably our longest, longest pig. Very big frame on her. And Zelly is not far behind. And she had a great litter of nine last time. I'm pretty sure Sassy had 11 and lost two. So she had nine as well last year. So Mo is the dad. Mo was the dad with Zelly's first litter. Just a great litter. Really like their confirmation. So we put them back in for this spring as well. And uh, excited to see what he'll produce with Sassy as well with her length. So they are the last, last two and probably the last ones to go to the farrowing barn. If I'm correct, I think they took, we put them in last, so they were the last to get bred. So they'll probably make that trip over there. Uh, the last, hey, it's really hard when you're oinking up a storm. Sassy is definitely our most vocal pig. When she sees that golf cart from across the field, she starts honking because she knows that feed is coming. But. We're def guys, we're definitely excited for all of the litters we have coming this spring and summer. And even more excited about having a place for all of them to farrow and be close to us so we can keep an eye on them. Um, the barn has been a blessing. It's been in the works for a while. We're finally able to get the finances to put that together and get that done. So we are excited to put that to use. And uh, I know the pigs will have a great spot and a safe place, good area so we don't have pigs piglets getting rolled up on i mean it happens no matter what you do sometimes it just happens but we feel pretty confident that these girls will have enough room to have their litters and keep their piglets safe so that will be coming up soon guys the first litter is probably in two weeks if we've got our dates correct um so there's going to be a lot of piglet videos and piglet birthings and we've got some work to do in that barn before it is ready. But we appreciate you guys following along. If you haven't already, 
Make sure you like, subscribe, check us out on Instagram and also Facebook, and don't forget to make the change. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next video.